everyone, my name's Holly and I'm the Social Account Manager for Tug Agency and in today's Tug tutorial I'm going to take you through the social media trends for 2021. These are based on learnings from um, Social Media Today articles and predictions. Um, we've taken some insight from We Are Social Social Reset Report um, and also Hootsuite's blog of uh, predictions for 2021. So starting off first with the importance of accessibility. So um, this year has been a year like no other for people and for marketers as well. Marketers have had to respond to that. Um, so COVID, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, the climate crisis, all of these things have kind of made people reconnect with their core values. So people are increasingly using, using social media um, to do things like hobbies and uh, connect with communities through Facebook groups. And it's all about kind of connecting with the people around you and celebrating those small things that make you happy in really, really difficult times. Um, so I think one really important learning for brands is that brands kind of need to celebrate everyday moments and they need to be accessible to their audiences. Not just brands, influencers, celebrities they need to be really careful with what they're putting out on social media. Um, they don't want to isolate audiences who are already feeling pretty isolated. So one example was uh, this year Kim Kardashian celebrating her 40th birthday by flying out all her friends and extended family to a private island and posting about it all over Twitter. This caused massive backlash because people just felt it was totally insensitive to a time where people were literally torn away from their loved ones. Um, so there's a learning here for influencers and brands is to be really careful about what you're saying on social and make sure you're being sensitive, make sure you're um, creating content that's accessible for audiences, but also that they can relate to at difficult times. Um, so one of, for one of our brands recently, we've decided instead of doing a countdown of big wins for the brand, instead we'll celebrate the small um, things that our followers have helped us to achieve, whether that's a comment, a share or a like, we're creating content that uh, helps them to celebrate those small, moments and is accessible to them and that they can relate to. Um, and then uh, a second trend that's been noticed and this is taken um, from the We Are Social report is around virtue signaling. This can also generate backlash for brands and celebrities. So we know this year that social media activism has totally exploded in popularity communities are coming together to support people and individuals are realizing that they need to be better educated on histories and cultures that they don't understand and socials become a huge tool to be able to do that um, but with that virtue signaling is now really being called out so people don't want um they don't want to see activism that is kind of pointless or doesn't really drive substantial change so one example of this was the hashtag challenge accepted challenge and this is where women posted um, black and white selfies of themselves on social media um, and it just was called out as actually being really narcissistic and lacking in any real advocacy purpose um, when you compare that with something like blackout tuesday movement which was done to kind of uh, raise a profile of black voices and the struggle that black communities are facing i mean there's a huge contrast between what um Tuesday was hoping to achieve versus what the challenge accepted selfie challenge was hoping to achieve. Um, so I think it's just really important to make sure that your um, activism challenges or any activism content you do is really grounded in making a real change and isn't called out as virtue signaling. Um, and on the topic of activism, one key trend that's emerged, and this is something that we're doing for our personal tug agency channel and our um, clients' channels, is text-based Instagram carousels. So in response to the Black Lives Matter movement, as I said before, people are looking for sources of information and education, um, and they want more substantive content. They want to be able to inform their followers. So um, we're increasingly wanting to educate ourselves. So PowerPoint uh, style presentations have exploded in popularity as a result of this. 
They allow us to communicate personally and directly with our followers. Um, they allow us to ask questions. They allow us to call out certain things, state facts. And we're also very shareable because it's been a real trend in people sharing these to their Instagram story. Um, and we're, we're seeing channels become involved. Twitter's uh, at the moment testing, allowing you to share your tweets to your Instagram story and it is currently letting you share your tweets to your Snapchat and this is because they know that text-based content um, and informative content is going viral on other channels so we're starting to see a massive emergence of this kind of sharing one for activism purposes but also for just general education and entertainment. Humanizing communication so um, People are finding ways to humanize their digital communications and the We Are Social Social Reset report predicted that in 2021 brands are going to really start to make their um, messaging through their chatbots etc um, a lot more kind of personal so they're going to be using more Memoji stickers um, and just trying to create that kind of personal relationship with uh, their consumers. Creating premium premium experiences so this is quite an interesting one um, predictions for 2021 are that brands will start to create more premium spaces so they'll have their kind of global accounts or their open accounts but then which anybody can follow but then they will also have these maybe private instagram accounts which only the top followers or the top creators or people who are really really close to that brand and are in almost this exclusive community will be able to follow and engage with so it's a really unique space and a really premium space and it's just building this kind of premium feel around a brand um, so marketers should think about how this can be used to gain feedbacks on products and services so for example if you are a fashion brand you might create a private Instagram account with the top fashion influencers for your brands or um, even kind of the top people in your community and get feedback about your products or trends etc it's a really really nice way to do that um, and in 2021 we're, we are predicting to see an increase in co-creation between brands and individuals so this would also be another great way to do that because these spaces could be used as a place to encourage um, top followers or top fans to create content for your brand. Um, and then going on to explore collaborative content creation in a bit more detail. So people are engaging in collaborative forms of content creation and TikTok has really, really made this explode in popularity. Their duets feature allows you to kind of create content with a celebrity or with another person and that's really, really nice. It's an easy win for influencers and brands because they can get more um, UGC content. They can also make their content more accessible to their followers um, and make their experience really engaging. So Dua Lipa actually um, crowdsourced loads of her content by um, asking people to submit videos on her TikTok in the comments section and upload videos so that actually all went into creating her music video so it's just a really nice way that influencers celebrities and brands can create a really intimate experience and a, a close relationship with their followers and one of the top tips we've included is TikTok now lets users reply to comments with videos so that's a great way um, to foster your community and ask for content in the comments section uh, ask people to respond to your videos with their videos and that way you're building up your content um, and another trend that has been identified as influencers needing to do more so because we're at um, a time of you know social activism civil rights movement climate crisis pandemic we're expecting people who have the platform and the followers to use them responsibly um, so Celeste Barber raised millions in donations for the Australian Bashara pill um, so if you kind of juxtapose that with Kim Kardashian who at times has used her platform responsibly but at times also hasn't used her platform responsibly and she's been called out for that um, so we want influencers to kind of be that source of responsibility um, and there's also uh, the We Are Social report also predicts that there'll be an increase in people wanting to follow health experts after the pandemic. Um, so that'll be an interesting one. And socialising on social, so this is an interesting one. Um, people are now starting to diversify the ways that they engage with social. So, 
TikTok throughout the height of the pandemic, um, throughout the first lockdown, and is still continuing to do this now, has become kind of an event space where people go at specific times to access specific content. So I remember during the first lockdown, I went to TikTok to um, watch Mind Charity, a virtual Mind Charity event where they had live streams from musicians, comedians, um, experts in mental health speaking and doing this virtual online event, um, which was really, really interesting because it wasn't, I didn't just go to the platform and come across it. I went there at a specific time that I knew this event was happening. So it just shows how we're kind of changing our, um, the way we use social. Interest has recently tested uh, online events. So it will be like a class with an expert in um, design, for example, or DIY and giving people a specific time to go to the platform to access those events. So I'll be interested to see how um, other platforms like Facebook and Instagram adapt their features to enable more event space socialising. So that is pretty much all of our trends um, for 2021. I hope you enjoyed them and um, we'll be posting this on our LinkedIn channel. So if you want to access the Google Doc um, to look at them in a little, a little bit more detail, then please feel free to do so. Otherwise, come back to our YouTube channel because we do weekly tutorials um, and there's loads of great stuff you can learn from SEO to social content, um, BPC, copywriting, blog. Uh, writing everything it, it's all on there so subscribe and see you soon <laughs>